Hello everybody and welcome again to the cave and today I have a special video for you uh, trying to solve really uh, one of the most annoying thing you know when you start up your laptop or PC and the uh, really annoying apps plugins and programs uh, just you know load and load and it just takes time and consumes time it's really frustrating especially and especially if you don't need or you don't want these specific apps or programs and um, so i'm here to give you a quick tip on how you can solve these startup issues and uh, really get rid of annoying apps and programs that come up uh, on the startup of your pc or laptop a um, special special thing thing for today if you uh, will be willing to watch until the end of this video i will show an extra bonus a uh, hack regarding the tool solving our current problem of uh, of um, unnecessary programs on startup i will give another special hack uh, using this tool something really beneficial so uh, it is very very recommended uh, if you could um, stay watching this video until the end okay so without any further ado we can really start uh, okay so uh, we've talked about our problem we want basically to save time to save frustration and really uh, get going with our startup of our PC or laptop faster uh, we can also save memory and CPU uh, resources okay if we disable unnecessary programs and uh, apps coming up on startup in many cases we install something that we don't want maybe a few days or a few weeks later and then it already um, begin to load automatically when computer uh, makes the start the startup so we really want to find a way to get rid of it okay so the main tool that will help us solve our problem called task manager I'm sure many of you heard of it. Uh, task Manager is a main function in all Windowses uh, that uh, help the user to terminate terminate processes uh, and to monitor uh, memory, CPU consumption, etc. And uh, it also will allow us to solve our startup problems. Okay, so quickly we can uh, um, open our Task Manager using the keyboard keys. Uh, control alt and Dell we just pick the task manager option uh, and there, there it go okay so we have our task manager open and uh, we can see several tabs here I'll just uh, briefly walk through some of them okay so we can just understand what we're looking at first tab is processes is is currently showing us which apps and background processes are currently open and um, I think most important columns are CPU and memory so it basically tells us uh, how much uh, central processing unit power this app or process is using okay relative to the rest um, if you have a stronger CPU you should be less worried about it but if you have less stronger CPU so you, you could pay attention to a uh, big uh, CPU consumptions, consumption consumption uh, also you can see the column of memory so you can we can see which app or process is uh, using more memory so you can also be sensitive to that and if you see something you're not using uh, you can terminate uh, this process from here using right click and and task but we're not uh, doing this video for this this was only uh, an extra info okay next tab is performance this is also general tab which can show us the uh, uh, monitor uh, various uh, consumption aspects we have the cpu consumption aspect it's really pretty much the same like the last tab we can see uh, how much cpu uh, processing basically processing power our pc or laptop is using we can see the memory uh, sub tab which can we can see how much memory our pc or laptop is using and um, we can see um, a, a, the performance of our hard drive okay we can also monitor speed and performance of our wi-fi 
and our graphics card okay next uh, next tab is really not so important it shows us something like 13 back 13 days back the history of uh, uh, apps which used the CPU how much did, did they use etc it's really not so important tab next tab is the tab we're looking for it's called the startup tab in this tab we can actually uh, control disable or enable uh, programs apps plugins everything that comes up together uh, when our windows is uh, starting up basically okay so you can see here the name of the uh, app we can see the publisher uh, we can see the status which is the most important column and uh, we can also see in some some estimation of windows uh, what impact does this app has on the startup process okay so as i mentioned i think status is the most important column here we can click it so we can sort our results to see first the disabled apps and then the enabled uh, or vice versa and um, i think we can start um, like this so we can also see few uh, apps that i've disabled previously and um, basically skype you all know it's a messaging app i just disable it because i don't it takes lots of time lots of time to uh, load and um, when pc starts so i really disable it uh, and then you can see the opposite all of the apps and programs which are currently uh, enabled okay so if you have um, really uh, you manage to recognize uh, an annoying app an annoying program something you don't want something you don't know something that uh, takes a lot of time to load when your pc is starting up you have this opportunity right here to disable it and get rid of it so basically you, you do not delete the program but you are disabling it from uploading um, and um, when the, the pc is uh, starting up so this could ease this the process of starting up of windows so it takes less time and you have less time and uh, to, to wait basically until you could properly use your pc okay so for example you can just go through we can just go through some of the apps here um uh, for example um this brother application is printing application it's okay i i need it when uh, the pc comes up uh, we have sound applications we have antivirus applications windows security applications all of these are uh, essential so i want them to keep to keep them uh, enabled uh, for example we have the google drive uh, i guess some, uh, many of you know uh, this feature it allows to store um, documents in the cloud uh, but I don't think it is critical that it will um, will be initiated right at startup of the um, uh, PC or laptop so if you want to disable this app for example you just right click it and then you click the disable button okay once you've done that uh, you can see that the Google Drive app just moved down here and the status is disabled so the thing this app won't bother me anymore when i start up my pc or computer so basically i'll have i, I will earn a few more seconds uh, uh, that i won't have to wait until my pc is uh, uh, finished the restart the startup and i'm ready to uh, operate it properly okay we also have the uh, automatic uh, robotic assistant cartoon of windows i don't use it really really i don't use it a lot and uh, if i want i can uh, enable it on a later stage or uh, execute it um, manually currently i don't want it to be initiated right uh, at the start of windows so i just click uh, it uh, also right click and disable and uh, there you go it's also disabled so we've disabled basically two programs uh, we hope this could help our pc uh, launch faster on startup and that's how you do it basically um, okay once uh, once you're all done you can just uh, exit the task manager using the uh, close button uh, you can verify the changes you've done uh, by uh, restarting your PC yes 
you just uh, click uh, on the operating button and restart your PC to uh, really verify that the changes that you have uh, uh, done are taking place and uh, that's all basically now uh, for those of you who uh, were watching until this moment I want to uh, give a special uh, bonus uh, which is the special hack I promised you at the beginning of the video uh, the hack I think is really useful it is linked to the task manager the purpose of this hack is to really um, find investigate the location of a certain app or a program uh, that you are currently running uh, what do I mean for example if you um, been using the, the internet you went to some website and uh, maybe some malicious uh, program just uh, uh, hacked uh, to your computer maybe it's a virus maybe some of your family members just installed the prog program that you are not uh, interested in you want to get rid of you want to delete it permanently not just disable it from the startup menu okay so in many cases when you don't recognize the program or the app you really have to invest a lot of time going through your PC and trying going through your hard drives and trying to uh, locate the to pinpoint the position of this uh, program okay in order to delete or remove it okay so the the hack I'm going to show you now is something really simple that could help you locate the folder of this specific app or program in seconds without the need to waste time and to dig into your computer trying to uh, manually search and find um, this app or program that you want to delete or get rid of or investigate okay so that is really simple you just pop the task manager again alt control delete you pick the task manager and from the processes tab the first tab we've been looking before you just do the simplest thing for example i have here a, an app i do recognize i do like this app but just for training purposes i can uh, click this avg anti-track service and then i click the right click button of the mouse then you've got this option open file location when you click it you just immediately turned to the specific location of this program of this application okay you can see here the path pc c drive program files avg anti-track it really brings you uh, exactly to the exe file to the file that in which you can launch the application so in this case this is a positive application and i installed it i'm aware aware of it no problem with it but in case that it was a malicious app and uh, maybe something harmful maybe something uh, someone installed without your permission so we have here the very quick way to identify where this is the location and then go on and uh, invest investigate verify what is it and uh, in case needed you can just uninstall it directly from its uh, home folder okay you guys so i hope this special bonus feature was uh, of value to you I'm really, I really want to thank you all uh, for watching uh, this video. Uh, if you found value, please hit the like button and subscri subscribe to my channel. It's be much, it will be much appreciated. If you have any comments, feel free and welcome to comment to uh, list them down below this video. I'll be happy to provide answers as much as I can. Um, okay, guys. So thank you very much for your time and. See you next time in the cave.